Hi, my name's David, welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to be looking at the unboxing and setup of the Amazon Echo Dot. Now this is um, an older generation, they've now got Gen 3 out, I think this is just Gen 1, um, but the setup uh, will be the same with all of them, but you might just get a little bit better quality, a little bit more responsiveness from the third gen and possibly a little bit better sound. Um, but for setup purposes, it'll be the same. And then in a later video, uh, we'll be looking at the show, which has recently come out. Um, I've had a bit of a comparison between the show and the Google Home, and we've decided to do a review on the show because of the screen size is bigger, and the sound quality is far better on the Echo Show than the Google Hub, which is a bit of a shame because we're all used to Google in our home. So it'll be interesting for us to see how the Amazon home system, the Echo range, compares to the Google home system in terms of sound quality and responsiveness and ease of use. Because so far when looking at them, the Echo system might not be quite as user friendly as the Google one, but we'll have, this is what we're here to find out. Yeah, quick look at the unboxing. So we've got our microphone mute, volume up, volume down, and I assume cancel button, I don't know, we'll have to find that one out. Got some instructions, welcome documents, and general marketing information. A USB to micro USB-C cable. and our charger. We also have a line out so you can plug it into another speaker if you want a better sound quality than what it can generate by itself but still have a smart speaker so you can plug it into your stereo and then effectively you'll have a smart stereo system. Let's just plug Alexa in. Hello. Your Amazon Echo Dot is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. Yeah, it's asking us to get the Alexa app, so we'll just go and download that now. Just go next. This is just a Welcome set of instructions. Have to go to the Amazon Wi Fi hotspot. You've connected to Echo Dot. Go ahead and finish the setup in your Alexa app. Okay, so we will add a new device. So before you go through that, you've got to connect to its Wi Fi, then you can start the setup process. Make sure you've got your 3G or 4G connection off, so you're just purely connecting to the Echo. And now you need to select your household Wi-Fi and put your password in, and then click Connect.
and now you can connect either a Bluetooth speaker to it, an auxiliary cable speaker, or you can just use the Alexa built-in speaker. So we'll just use the built-in one. Let's take a quick tour of your new Amazon Echo Dot. Now it's easy to add Alexa to any room in your home. Play your music, communicate with friends and family, and control your smart home with just your voice. To get the attention of your device, say the wake word, Alexa. You'll know your dot is ready when the light ring turns blue. Echo helps you organize your busy life. Alexa, what's on my calendar today? Today there are two events. At 9 a.m., there's Jordan's soccer game, and at 7 p.m., there's dinner with Tony. You can also message or call someone on their supported Echo device or the Alexa app. Alexa, message Tony. What's the message? We're still on for dinner tonight, right? Sending message. Ready for some music? Just ask for a song, artist, or genre from your favorite music service. Your Echo Dot has a built-in speaker, but you can also connect to your home stereo system with an audio cable or pair with supported Bluetooth speakers. Alexa, play today's most popular songs. Playing the top Billboard songs. Come on, come on, turn the radio on. It's bright and high and I won't be long. When you're cooking, you can ask, Alexa, how many teaspoons are in a tablespoon? One tablespoon equals three teaspoons. Alexa, set a timer for 12 minutes. 12 minutes, starting now. Alexa, stop. With Smart Home, you can control supported lights and appliances without lifting a finger. Alexa, turn on the bedroom light. Okay. And remember, Alexa is always getting smarter. And with thousands of skills, Alexa can help with everything from ordering pizza to getting a ride across town. Be sure to explore the Alexa mobile app or ask Alexa, what can I do for even more fun ideas? Enjoy your new Echo Dot from Amazon. Just click next. We have here a chance to start an Amazon Prime 30 day trial. I won't take it up at the moment because I'll be using that later. What we have found though is later on when you add extra users to the account, you need to combine the accounts with credit cards and memberships as well. So be careful during the setup on who has had a 30 day trial because if you want to take advantage of multi 30 day trials you may need to add them at later dates or have them on different devices i'll try and confirm this later on as i do more experimenting but for now we're going to skip this but be careful about how you add multiple accounts hello i'm alexa it's nice to meet you there's a lot of fun and helpful things I can do. I have a quick introduction that we can walk through together. Can I show you some things to try? Yes. Great, great. Let's start with the basics. Whenever you want to talk to me, just say my name. Try asking me, Alexa, what's the weather? Alexa, what's the weather? In Red Hill, it's 12 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies. Here's something fun. I love playing music. Try saying this. Alexa, play songs from the 90s. Alexa, play songs from the 90s. Hmm, let's try again. Say, Alexa, play songs from the 90s. Alexa, play songs from the 90s. Did you know? I can play radio stations. Try saying this. Alexa, play Fox Sports Radio. Alexa, play Fox Sports Radio. Get in the station, Fox Sports, from My Heart Radio. This is The Herd, live from Los Angeles on Fox Sports Radio. Great. Here's something else to try. That was fun. I can also help you around the house. 
For example, setting alarms. Try saying, Alexa, wake me up at 9 a.m. Alexa, wake me up at 9 a.m. Alarm set for 9 o'clock. I'll cancel that alarm for now. Let's move on to the last part of this introduction. I'll ask you three questions to see what you like. Then, I'll send you recommendations to your Alexa app. First question. Do you like staying up to date on the latest news? Okay. Great. Next, I'm a great kitchen companion. Do you want to learn how I can help with things like making shopping lists? Okay. Got it. One last thing. I've got insane skills. Skills are like apps for Alexa, so you can do more, such as play games, order a pizza or listen to guided meditation. Do you want to learn more about skills? Yes, please. Great. Thanks. I'm sending all of this to your Alexa app right now. Have fun exploring, and thanks for chatting. Let's have a look at the new skills that Alexa say they sent to the app. Probably have to reconnect to the household Wi-Fi first. Okay, so you just have to go through the list of skills that are in there. I can't really see any particular customization that they've done. Let's see if she can play some music. Okay, Alexa. Play me some music. What do you want to hear? The top 20. Your Amazon Music Marketplace is not configured correctly for this device. Alexa. Play some music from Spotify. To play Spotify, link your premium account first using the Alexa app. Alexa. Play some radio. What do you want to hear? Rock music. Radio Wonder FM rock music from TuneIn. Alexa. Stop. Alexa. Play music from Google Play. Your Amazon Music Marketplace is not configured correctly for this device. Okay, let's see if we configure them. Okay, let's connect to Spotify. Alexa, play some music from Spotify. To play Spotify, link your premium account first using the Alexa app. According to the app, I have. But I don't have a Spotify premium account, so that might possibly be it. Let's see if we can try getting my Google account to work. I can't see a Google Play option in the list. We'll have to come back to that later if we can. Let's see if we can get it to work with our household lights. Now that would be light wave, so. I don't think this is the right one, but we'll, we'll try Hue then. And just fill in our details. And just sign in. Yes, you want to allow Alexa access. Alexa, 
Turn on the living room lights. I didn't find any smart home devices under David's account. To get started, go to the smart home section of the Alexa app. Alexa. Turn on the living room lamps. I didn't find any smart home devices under David's account. To get started, go to the smart home section of the Alexa app. Okay, so you have to, it's not just setting up the account and allowing it access to the account, you then have to set up the devices, even though they've already been set up in their corresponding accounts. So let's just let that synchronize. Okay, yeah, so we just had to synchronize it then. Fair enough, done. Alexa, turn on the living room lamps. Okay. Yep, I can see that's come on. Alexa, turn off the living room lamps. Okay. And they've gone off. Okay, so we've got the hue working at least. I'll have a quick look to see if we can work out how to get the light wave to work. Okay, to get the Spotify, if you come up to the menus, settings, music, and now link account on Spotify. So although we've actually linked Spotify to it, it still isn't fully linked. So we'll try it this way. I'll just enter my details in, click OK. It's still saying about this premium account required. It might not work at all with Spotify free and the premium account is 9 99 a month or thereabout in uh, British pound sterling. So we'll try it, but I'm not gonna hold my breath on this one. Alexa, play the top 20 on Spotify. Your Spotify account doesn't support streaming on this device. It does not bode well for you, Alexa. Listen to this one. Okay, Google, play the top 20 on Spotify. Should I still play that on living room TV? No. Playing albums is only available to Spotify premium subscribers. But try this Spotify best music hit top 20 station. Stop. Okay, so we get a warning saying that, oh, we're not on the premium service from Spotify, but it will give you a close estimate with radio stations and all that lot for the free, free stream, which is fine, you know, if you don't want the adverts and you want to get exactly what you ask for, then yes, you know, you've got to pay $9.99 a month for it. But having the choice, I'd have thought, would be essential. Kind of getting disappointed with the Amazon system at the moment. The radio ones do work, I will give it that. It is a radio you can talk to. But that's kind of it really, it's an interactive radio that might control some of your smart home devices because we've linked all of our light switches and some of our plugs with Lightwave which is one of the main leaders. I thought it was compatible with Amazon but we'll have to research that one. We'll get back to you in a little bit. Okay, I'm going through Lightwave RF. It does say that it is compatible so I'll have another look. So it will come to Home Control, Add, Add a Device, Lights, and it's not on the list, so we will go for Other, and discover and see what it might come up with. No. Okay, well let's Add a Device, a Light, just not there. No, I'll have another look. Okay, I've resorted to using the instructions rather than troubleshooting it myself. And according to Lightwave's website, it's very simple. Set up an Amazon Alexa account, set up the Alexa, go to your skills, and then search for Lightwave and add that as a skill. 
Well, here we are in the Amazon account, Lightwave skill, it's only this one, and it's some employee server nonsense. It's got nothing to do with the Lightwave technologies at all. So I can't find the skill for Lightwave RF. So um, it's looking less useful at the moment. It looks like we may have to abandon the Echo system completely as it might not actually run our house. Or play any music without a monthly subscription, either through the Amazon subscription system or through the Spotify premium service. But if you've got your own record collection, you might not be able to listen to it on the Echo speakers. So far, I have to recommend the Google Home system. Uh, the speakers work easily set up. Once you've set it up, you can add users to it with their separate accounts. You're not combining accounts. So it still leaves flexibility. It allows guests to enter with the Google system. So unfortunately, we will have a look later. We'll try and link the Google Calendar to it and see if that works before I give a final opinion. Alexa, what am I doing tomorrow? Tomorrow, there are three events. So, the calendar does work. Um, so, of course, you can use the add commands and you can add new events and things like that. I have a feeling I've seen Stringify and If This Then That in the routines whilst I've been searching for things, so might be able to get around things that way. Yeah, I, I can add um, Stringify to it. So that can help, but then I'd have to make new routines just for individual lights, which I don't want to do at the moment. I've got smart things, or well, that'll do the Philips lights and some of the smart sensors that we've got, but still wouldn't work with the light wave. Actually, I can't see if this than that here. So you'd have so you are limited with Alex to what you can do. Just a quick thought: we might be able to use the sky bell on here. So we'll just set this up and try it. So it's been linked. Now we probably still need to add devices because you remember that from last time. The mic button mutes the mic. So if I go Alexa, Alexa. It doesn't respond. Alexa. Cancel. So you can see that working. And the action button basically gives the wait command with a press of a button. Turn on the living room lights. Okay. The lights have come on. Turn off the living room lights. Okay. And obviously, volume up is up and volume down is down. And that is it. I've tested the doorbell um, to see if it would make Alexa ring. It didn't. Um, again, there might be some further setup in that, which I can't obviously see. But we'll call that it for tonight, and we will look at the show next. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, Give it a thumbs up and click subscribe. Please leave comments in the description below. Any advice or information would be greatly appreciated um, to support the channel and allow me to grow what we can do. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.